Yeah, I'm obviously excited to be here. I was excited when they uh, when they called and I had the opportunity to come. Um, it's a good group of guys. Uh, I played with uh, CJ and Larry when I was in Portland, so uh, kind of leaned on them, uh, kind of giving a background of the team and players and uh, even off the court where to live and restaurant recommendations and everything else. So um, two of my favorite teammates that I've had throughout my whole career. So fun to be back with them, but also you know, I played in the league long enough to know, um, you know, playing against guys like, uh, you know, Brandon and Zion and, um, you know, Valanchunas. I hate wrestling with Valanchunas throughout my career. Uh, so it's all guys that I'm looking forward to, to being teammates with. And um, great coaching staff was with Coach Brego um, in Charlotte for a few years. So fun to be back with him. And, um, you know, like I said, it's, I've been in the league long enough that he kind of, overlap with guys, everyone kind of trades teams, and uh, but it's fun to be reunited with a few of them here, here in New Orleans. And a little more to that, I mean, as Chase was brought in here largely to uh, you know, kind of play with the offense a little bit, I mean, what, um, what makes him, I guess, good at, at that area specifically, you know, just like playing at the controls of an offense? Yeah, we, um, you know, he's an offensive-minded coach, uh, you know, really preaches, you know, sharing the ball and being unselfish. Uh, you know, good good ATOs, but more more importantly, just teaches the guys how to play with each other and uh, get the ball moving. Um, so yeah, he's he's going to add a lot. He's got a great demeanor, uh, win or lose, uh, up twenty, down twenty. Um, you know, he's great at uh, you know having a good demeanor and you know moving on to the next game and the next the next play. Um, so he was great for me as a head coach in Charlotte, but he'll be great in the assistant role as well here in New Orleans. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, being around the league enough, everyone runs similar, similar sets, similar plays. Uh, everyone calls a little bit different. So uh, even though it's my first, you know, month being here in New Orleans, uh, I kind of know, you know, kind of speak the same language as Coach Brago. Uh, so there's been a couple of times where I've even had to translate, you know, some of Coach Brago's stuff to, to a couple of teammates. So, um, you know, however I can help out, you know, especially early on, uh, being here is, uh, you know, I'll, I'm willing to help out. Good to be a part of that Heat team last year that made it to the finals. Uh, just being on the court for those big minutes, the, the, the biggest stage that the game has to offer, what, what, what do you think it takes for a young team to get to the point where they can compete and execute on that level to be able to play in those big games? And yeah, it was a, a fun experience for me because that's that's what you dream of, uh, dream for, you know, whether you're, you know, a little kid growing up to, you know, watching the, the NBA playoffs, uh, or if you're an NBA veteran like myself up until that point, I had been in the playoffs twice and out in the first round both times, and uh, so to make a deep run and feel the pressure build with each round and feel, you know, um, you know the amount of, you know, detail that goes into each play. Um, was really fun for me to, to experience, and uh, hopefully I can bring, you know kind of bring some of that experience here. But um, you know, it takes all you know 15 guys. It takes uh, you know a good coaching staff, guys that are you know all team first, all on board for um, you know helping out the team win. Um, you know, a lot. It takes a lot of grit, a lot of uh, like I said, attention to detail. Um, so anyway, however, however I can help, kind of. Take some of that experience from Miami and bring it here is, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to helping out. We people talk all the time about heat culture and what they've been able to do over a long period of time to stay, you know, at a competitive place in the East. But what did you kind of just see firsthand or what they were able to do on a day to day basis to, to have that sustained success over a long period of time? Yeah, I think, uh, I think they do a good job picking the right guys. They have, uh, you know, good veteran players. Uh, you know, Udonis Haslam is retiring, but guys like that that are, uh, you know, gritty. They've they've seen it, they've done it. They keep guys in line. There's a lot of accountability. Um, it's a uh, it's a working group. It's uh, you know, you come in, you expect to work, you expect to be in good shape. Um, so when games get tough, it's uh, you know, you know that you're in better shape than the other team. You know that they're you're not going to cave before they do. Um, so hopefully, I can uh, like I said, kind of. Take what I what I learned in Miami and hopefully bring some of that here.
Tony, what are some of your first impressions of some of your first team um, teammates, like uh, Zion or Brandon Ingram, whether it's you know just talking to the guys and maybe running alongside them in the practice facility? Yeah, it's uh, there's first of all, there's been a lot of guys in the in the gym um, over the past month or so. So uh, it's great, young guys that are you know trying to learn, trying to you know show the coaches what they've you know been working on all summer, um, as well as veteran players. A lot of like you said, Brandon and CJ and all those guys have been in the gym playing five on five and in good shape. So you can tell that it's a group that's that's hungry to win, hungry to get the season started. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's been great the first month, and looking forward to playing the great coaching staff. Like I said, training staff is great. Um, you know, on and off the court, it's been great so far. Not to keep harping on, on Miami, but they're a very scheme versatile team when it comes to defense. A lot of zone, sometimes you can switch, sometimes they can drop, and that kind of stuff. This was also a team that was pretty effective on the defensive end last year. They picked the Toronto six, and uh, in critical moments, they ended up switching a lot. But in, in general, how do you? Yeah, it's uh, that's a good question because I think uh, Miami probably plays more zone than anyone else in the league, um, but you know teams aren't used to playing against that. And I think that um, I think it starts with having good defenders, uh, individual defenders, uh, but also guys that are smart enough to be able to switch back and forth. Um, and like you said, New Orleans uh, last year is um, you know was top ten defense and. I think you have to have the ability to switch defenses, uh, give teams different looks. Um, so hopefully I can fit into that. Hopefully I can, uh, you know, help out however I can. Scotty, on that uh, pitch and switching to New Orleans, what are some of the championship traits, characteristics that maybe you've seen some wood and green in the front office and the roster that made you pick New Orleans even though you had it in the office? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, all the pieces are here. I think there's been a lot of injuries in the past year or two. Um, the team hasn't quite been healthy, but um, I think the pieces are here. A couple, uh, you know, even changes to the, to the coaching staff, the front office, you know, like, like we said, bringing in Coach Borrego. Um, you know, it's uh, made me excited when they, when they called. Um, and even, uh, you know, we haven't talked about off the court at all, but uh, I'm looking forward to being here. It's, uh, I got married like a month ago, so it's just my wife and I. So. Uh, we're looking forward to being in New Orleans. We've been, like I said, here like a month, and we've been total tourists. We've been trying all the new restaurants, and uh, we took a walk out at Audubon Park, City Park. Um, we're just trying to trying to be tourists and trying to enjoy the city. So uh, we're looking forward to, especially, you know, personally, our first year of marriage to be in New Orleans, uh, something we'll remember uh, the rest of our lives. So uh, it's really fun to be here. Yeah, I think um, I, that's what I pride myself on is just being, I hope that the team plays well when I'm on the court. Uh, I want the team to win. Uh, I don't care about any individual stats or accolades or anything. That's how I've been all the way back to my college days. Um, uh, but obviously, uh, you know, through my, I've had some, some good and bad experiences. I've had some, some rough years as well, and I think you can learn equally from both. Um, but hopefully I can kind of bring that, uh, you know, winning experience uh, to New Orleans and help out however I can. As a guy who's competed against him before, how would you describe what it's like just going against Zion and just the physicality that he brings when he's on the court? Yeah, he's, uh, he's such a unique player. He just finds a way to score around the rim. Uh, he's obviously has athletic ability, his second job, um, to, to find a way to get to the rim and uh, score through contact. Uh, it's just a tough matchup for anyone. It's too quick for for bigs, too too big for some of the guards. Um, so yeah, when he's on the court and healthy, it's uh, you know a matchup nightmare. So like I said, I'm looking forward to playing with him instead of against him. There's, there's a lot of media emphasis or, or narrative on elite getting small or more small ball. Obviously, you just had a first-hand experience playing against Nikola Jokic in, in the finals. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like this team? Going against the idea of like, hey, we just need to be smaller, but um, you know, 
Yeah, um, I think the league has gotten smaller. Um, uh, and I think that back to playing defense, I think that uh, you got to have the ability to play different lineups as well. So uh, there will be nights when, you know, JV or me or um, some of those guys, but there, I'm sure there'll be plenty of nights where we put Zion at five or put, you know, obviously Larry will play plenty at five um, to be able to switch everything. So um, I think you got to have the ability to do both. And um, I think we have a good roster set up that we can kind of play different defenses, play different offenses, play, you know, different lineups. Um, I think you're going to have to have a little bit of everything to be able to win. Yep. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. you guys. Thank you. We'll take any restaurant recommendations. We'll take any restaurant recommendations you guys got too. <laughs>